Hello everyone, welcome to Alpha Wisdom, I'm Misty Cassandria. We're continuing with our discussion of the fingernails. You saw several examples last time and we have more again today. So we start today with our check sheet, which tells you a little more about your fingernails. And then we will get right into where we're going. Okay, beginning here. Fingernails, normal and abnormal. We covered most of that last time, but we're going to we're really into the ones that are not considered as normal. Did you know that fingernails register upsets, shocks, and other traumas? Nails on healthy adult hands take between four and six months to grow from the cuticle to the tip. Any sort of physical or emotional trauma that occurred three months ago would appear as a slight ridge deep about halfway up the nail from the cuticle. Okay? So that's pretty much in reference to the ridges. However, any of the other signs that we're going to be introduced to say, to hear, it happens again and again, especially if it involves nerves of any kind, nervous tension. Okay, let's look at this one. White spots. Now you have one here, you have two on this finger, and you have one here, and you've got one trying to come in. You're worrying, and you have concerns about something. You've got it here, you have it here, a little bit here, and uh, sort of getting here. Let's see another example of this. Starting at the bottom here, there's one, it's a large one here. And then you've got it on the ring finger, middle finger, index finger, white spots. Well, this is less serious than the ridge. These worry spots can appear on one or on all nails. So check your nails as we go through this. See if you see one. If there's only one spot on one nail, it is an isolated occurrence, indicating that you have been concerned about the affairs in your life associated with that finger and that mount where this appears. Let's see if this, it appeared here. This would be the uh, ring finger. There's only one finger here, so I'm not gonna second guess this one. But here, it's telling you that you're, you have worries or concerns about what is going on with your artistry. Some talent you have. Maybe it's not working out as you are, or maybe you just worry. Whatever the case. Remember, worries and concerns. And maybe you don't really need to have them. I don't know. But just be aware. And they could disappear. Yes. Everything you see can be changed. All right, let's leave this one. All right, this is a bulbous nail. You see how it's, it's like this is raised and it really affects the shape. The bulbous nail is not a natural formation. The nail did not start out like this. When you first came to the world, or when the nail started to grow. It didn't grow like this, but it indicates an extreme health condition in your chest involving the lungs or emphysema or chronic bronchitis. People who smoke, please just stop immediately because this is not going to get better. Plus, then here we have the diseases. 
So you don't want this. The chest, that's where your lungs are located. Give your lungs a break. That's so important. So let's see if we have another one. That's the side view. That's bulbous. So you don't want these. You weren't born with them. Just some bad habits or habits that you took for granted. It's time for a change. And you have a discoloration too. Discolor. This is more natural in color. This has a yellowish tinge to it. Okay, so let's just be aware. And when you are aware of something, it's easier to do something about it. So let's leave this. And what we have here, these are short nails. They're brittle. And it always has something to do with your diet. You're not eating the right things. Uh, sometimes I understand we want change, but not consistently with that change. You've got to have a balanced diet. You're working with your body. So be concerned about your diet. Let's take a look at some others. Now here we have discoloration. See, this has a yellowish cast to it. Yeah, the fingers don't look too healthy here either. Okay. And speaking of discoloration, here. This is not normal. Let's see another one and we can learn more about them. Look at these nails. Here we have yellow nails, breaking, brittle nails. Has to do with diet and it could be your liver. When you see yellow, it's affecting the organs. They are already affected. Not necessarily the brittle, but that color is the thing. And here the nail is, looks like it wants to fall off. There's a serious problem going on here. I hope none of your fingers look like this, but if they do, get to a doctor and have that checked. Very, very important. And here's a close-up of the yellow nails. Same issue. Well, that's how it is. And we go to one more. You may have seen nails like this. Maybe you have a nail like this. I don't know. Okay. They are called concave when the nail seems to want to grow away from the nail bed. All right, this indicates, again, nervous tension, a possible nervous burnout, commonly treated with anti-anxiety drugs. So it's just, your situation has gotten so much out of hand. Your tension and the body has a way of letting you know. It comes through your fingers. See, this is not normal for the nails to look like this. So let's be aware, let's be concerned and wanting to do something about it. Why is this happening? You have to be very kind to this body. You don't get an exchange. So I'm just telling you, so if you run into people or you know of someone that has fingernails that look like this, maybe just a few kind words, sort of guiding them or let them be aware. People have to make their own decision, I realize that. But at least you know.
take care of yourself. All right. Well, that ends it for today. We'll continue tomorrow. And I say thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like this. It really helps the channel. And welcome to all the new subscribers. Very happy to have you. Thanks for watching. Love yourself. Love and light. Bye.